Hey, how you doing there? Henry Olsen here from Super Simple Guitar, and welcome to another 5-Minute Friday. Short and simple little lesson that you can take, make your own, and have a lot of fun with over the weekend. So today I'm going to be showing you how to play this classic cream lick. from White Room. Funny story, um, when I was getting married, I was driving this little Cinquecento car with my mom and my best man, um, and we were driving to the wedding, and this is the song that we were listening to. I think it was on repeat, because I remember it so distinctly. It's just kind of a funny thing to remember, getting married and in this little Cinquecento car, um, listening to this tune. I think over and over again, because it really stuck in my head. So anyways, I'm gonna be showing you how to play it, um, and I'm also going to have a free tab for you that's gonna show you how to play the riff. And I'm also gonna to link to um, the entire chord progression that's totally for free linked underneath my video. So the tab I'm gonna have created, I already have it created, and then I'm gonna also link to the entire chord progression if you wanna learn the lyrics and all that, right? Okay, also if you wanna check out my All Access membership, everything that I've ever created, 40 hours of step-by-step -step lessons are in there. Um, I'd love to coach you personally and help you on your guitar journey, so if you wanna check that out, that's also linked underneath. Okay, let's just get into it. So the first chord is a D sus two, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit the bass first. So fourth string, and then a nice strum down. So. See how nice that sounds on an acoustic guitar? Then we're gonna go up to the note C here with our middle finger and hit it two times. And then again, strum that chord. And it's a really nice sounding chord, right? Because you have those open strings in there. Then we're gonna walk it back again to the second fret, only hitting the bass note once. Again, a strum. And then we're gonna hit a power chord, B flat, going into a C. Okay, these are power chords. And um, all of these chords, especially the power chords, um, are in that book as well. And it's gonna really teach you how to take these power chords um, and play them all over the neck and really identify the names um, and know how to move them around, right? So if you want to, make sure to check out that book. Again, it's free when you get the tab. Okay, so D. And I'm using these little dead notes in between to, to keep that strummy thing going, right? So, so we're hitting the bass one time strum, two times strum, one time strum. And then I have these. And the way I'm getting this muted sound is one, I'm releasing tension with this left hand, not leaving the strings, but just releasing tension. See that? I remember learning guitar as a beginner, and this was a concept when I first um, heard about it or you know tried to do it. It was very difficult for me. So um, give yourself time if you've never done this. Um, but it's a great thing to start um, you know implementing into your you know routine of things that you practice, right? And this is a great song to do that. So I'm, I'm muting it that way, and I'm also doing a little palm mute with my right hand. So it's kind of double muted, um, just, you know, for whatever safety reasons to make sure everything's really nice and tight. Okay, so really slow. Okay, so that's what's gonna be tabbed out for you if I'm going too fast. Um, and then after that, just so you know what else happens in the song, it goes to a C, da da G, to that B flat power chord, into a A, back into a C, into a G, and then back to that power chord, C, and then D, then you're back to the races, okay? There's also that little intro part where they're singing. I'm not gonna tr try to sing because I don't think I could sing that way. But what that is, is a G minor into a F, into a D minor into a C. That happens a second time. G minor into a F, 
into a D minor, into a C, and then A minor 7. See how nice that is? We're going from a C, and then to get the A minor 7, just release this, and then you're back to the raises. Also, really, really great tune to practice getting those notes with your pick. Those single notes. And again, as a beginner, I remember um, sitting on my balcony um, and just thinking, how am I ever going to hit these notes without looking down at the strings, you know? And I remember thinking, it's just going to be impossible to not look at the strings and be able to hit these notes. But the more you practice, the easier it gets, okay? So um, look at me, now I can talk to you and do it. It's not easy, but I can totally do it. So it just goes to show by putting in the time, by putting in the effort, by showing up, things that seem impossible when you first start playing the guitar become easier and easier and easier as you go. And what that does is it frees up mental space, okay? So because you don't need to do as much mental processing, you can then start to relax more and enjoy the music because your hands start to automatically just, you know, perform the tasks. The same as your computer, um, you know, if it's overloaded with performing tasks, it gets really slow. But the faster your computer is and the more automated those tasks become, the easier it is then and the more you can enjoy the music, okay? So anytime you're learning a song, Make sure to really spend enough time practicing it. That's the first th thing so that you really know the song very well. That's going to free up mental capacity, right? Your processing power, your processing load is going to be reduced that way. You know, really learn the song well um, and, you know, just keep coming back to it and practicing it. And then your hands are going to, you know, start to automatically just do what needs to be done. And you're going to be able to enjoy the music, right? It's the deeper level of playing music right once you get all that technical stuff covered by practicing that's the only way you're gonna have to sit down and practice but once that's covered then the real enjoyment can kick in okay so a little um, you know philosophy there for you a little uh, whatever you want to call it um, if you want to go deeper with me I'd love to coach you personally um, I have a free 14-day trial currently I'm not sure how long that's gonna be available but now it's available so all of my courses are in there, plus you get one-on-one -on -one coaching with me when you join the program. So if you want to check that out, I'd love to help you on your guitar journey. If not, here's another video just like this one. I'd love to help you out over there as well. Make sure to click on that, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Give me a thumbs up, hit subscribe if you haven't yet, and have a great weekend. See you next Friday. Take it easy. Bye-bye.